Hi, families and friends. Welcome to Paint Night. Um, today, we're going to do a Kandinsky-inspired painting, which is uh, we're going to be using uh, these paintbrushes. You're going to have two, a smaller one or a thinner one for lines and a thicker one to color in your paints. I'm going to start with the black paint today, <laughs> and then we're going to go in by holding our brush in the middle and making sure uh, that we don't hold it like a pencil, otherwise we'll have paint on the side of our hands. Uh, so we're just going to dip, dip, um, no swirling. Um, the only reason is because you're gonna waste your paint that way. So um, <clears throat> just uh, carefully dip the paint. And families, you could uh, do it with your uh, students or you can do it uh, together or on your own. So when the music starts playing, uh, think about where you want to add your lines. Kandinsky uh, did a lot of lines and shapes, and we learned that also in art class. We learned about zigzag lines. And don't forget, you can reload your paintbrush. We did curved lines. <clears throat> then you're going to think about um, possibly adding some shapes, like triangles. Maybe you can add a circle, curly lines. <clears throat> and this is how we're going to continue as we listen to the music, adding some uh, design elements to our painting. Again, try not to uh, uh, swirl the brush or um, kind of uh, be rough with the brush. We're trying to uh, use it on its tippy toes, on the point of the brush, kind of like if she was dancing on her tippy toes, like if she was a ballerina. I'm going to speed this up. Okay, so next, after, we're going to use our thicker brush to color in some of our shapes. And I recommend starting with the yellow. And we don't have any water today because we're going to use a dry brush method. So we start with the lightest color, which is yellow. And you're just going to, again, dip. Try not to swirl so we don't waste um, the paint, although we do have more paint if anybody needs some. Um, so we're just going to dip, dip, dip. And start filling in where you think you want some of the lightest color yellow. So you're going to use yellow everywhere. Um, inside the shapes. And don't worry if it mixes a little bit. Uh, Kandinsky always mixed his colors as well. So I'm going to add a little yellow on top. And as we listen to the music, we're going to relax and enjoy the process of this abstract painting we're creating together. I'm going to fill in some more over here in the circle, holding my brush in the middle. I'm going to try to be careful with the black paints going gently around. But again, if it smudges a little bit, that's okay. Going around our lines. On the top a little bit. And making sure that we use the yellow in different areas before we move to blue. Okay, and I think... We're going to um, <clears throat> start filling up the other areas with uh, the yellow. And when we're done with yellow, we're going to just wipe off the excess paint on our paper or canvas. And we switch just like that to our darker blue. And then we, here's where we could mix a little bit and make different colors. While well, yellow and blue is going to make a pretty green as we brush the paint on top, gently on top of the yellow. <clears throat> and this is where I speed it up a little bit. Mixing those colors, adding some yellow and reds now to make purples, oranges. And there you go, my friends your Kandinsky inspired abstract painting. I hope you enjoyed tonight and um, I'll be walking around helping and let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy friends.